Hi, welcome to Chipmunk Crafting Corner. I'm Debbie and today I'm going to talk about making baby blankets. My favorite kind of blankets, whatever material you use, I love to put satin binding around the edge. It is so soft and comfortable and very easy to work with. I got some light cotton cloth. It's like a mesh, very breathable. And when I make my blankets out of this, I like to do double layer so that you see the picture on both sides. I also like to use cotton flannel. There's lots of pretty prints anywhere that sells fabric that you can get. And I also like to do uh, two layers so that you can see the picture on both sides. I'm laying out my flannel to see how, <clears throat> what size I'm going to make my blanket. So I want to make it square, but you can choose any size for your baby blankets. And I want to do it as wide as it is long. So I'm just using the width to kind of measure how square I want it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little notch here so I can remember. There. Yeah. And I'm doing two pieces at the same time. So I have a front and a back. See, let me get that nice and laid straight. <clears throat> okay. Now, there's my notch. Let me make sure that's straight. Nice and straight on the line so I can cut a straight line. And then I'm just gonna cut it right across here. If you want to draw a line to make it easier, you can do that. Just use a ruler or a yardstick or something. I think I did pretty good there. And I've got leftovers for something else. Now I've got this folded in half and then in half again. I want it to be nice and square and I'm going to kinda line up the edge over here. Don't worry if it's not perfect because the satin binding is going to co cover up any mistakes. Now let me line this up a little bit. I'm using the lines on my cutting board. But you might want to use a yardstick to draw a nice line on there. There. That's about as good as I can get it. Now, here's my corner, and what I'm gonna do, see we have, a, we have two good sides, and the inside, everything is, the wrong side is on the inside. I got all my corners together right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and round off this corner just by looking at it. Nice round corner. There. It's not hard at all. I've got my first corner here, and we're gonna start the binding. We just open it up, and put it right on there, and put a pin in there. And 
and it'll pin both sides at the same time. And then we just start working this all the way around the blanket. And as you're going around the corners, you're just going to take in a few more tucks. I would put quite a few pins on the corner to get that to lay down nice. Still a little tuck here, so I'm going to put a pin here. It's starting to look nice already. Let me fix this. There we go. You put as many pins as you think you need to hold that down. After you come to the end of your binding, I like to give it an angle cut like this. And then fold this piece in like this. And then kind of tuck the other end in under it to give it a nice finish. And just pin that in. There. It'll really look nice when it's all done. And you don't have to do anything else to it. Just sew over it with the zigzag. You can't hardly see it. I have my first blanket already pinned up, all ready to go. All the corners look nice. And if they don't lay flat, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna hurt anything to do with this blanket if it isn't perfect. Our next step is to sew our blanket and we're going to use the zigzag stitch. And this will catch both sides and put a nice finish on our satin. Make sure you take your pins out before you go over it with the needle. I've gone all the way around my first blanket and look at the corner. Nice little tucks and it's caught on both sides. So you can see the print on both sides. Our little baby coming to visit is going to enjoy this little blanket. Thank you for watching Chipmunk Crafting Corner. And I hope to soon have some more videos out. And we would really, really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. I really enjoy what I'm doing. And I'm going to be showing and sharing a lot of different crafts. I could be sewing. It could be candle making. It could be basket weaving. Uh, I even do leather work, so I hope you keep watching and please subscribe. Thank you.